All right, hello, and welcome to another Ultimate Game Host video tutorial. In this video, we're going to look at um, using TacoScript again as an example, some of the common issues you can run into and how to fix them when you're trying to use a MySQL add on with Gary's Mod. And we'll start with one of the errors that seems to come up regardless of what you do, which is related to engine changes for Gary's Mod. Whenever a major change is made, oftentimes add-ons will break and things will go wrong with them. Well, in this case, TacoScript has, or rather one of the supporting libraries, the GMSV Archon DLL, has an issue. And we can identify that through the, through the console logs in the control panel. So if we go to the console logs tab, console output, do a refresh here to make sure we've got everything up to date, do a view here so we can look at the log in the browser, and we'll highlight lines, We'll scroll down, and you can see here the server actually appears to be working. We do have the error from GMSV Archon, which has failed to retrieve address. And basically this error means that there's something incompatible about the way this plugin is doing what it's doing with the changes to the server. Unfortunately, this isn't really anybody's fault. It's just one of those consequences. But the server does still work. So next we'll go on to looking at and actual error and how to fix that error. Okay, so the first error we're going to look at here is one that happens when some of the modules aren't installed yet. So let's go over, take a look, console logs, console output. And the way Italis isn't working is you'll end up with um, uh, the game mode having problems with saving data and just weird reactions in game. But let's look at the console and see what it says. And we'll find the error and then we'll solve it. So we'll again turn on highlighting. We'll scroll down here. And here we go. We got some red here. It's error module MySQL 00 not found. And the same for the gatekeeper and archon modules. So what could have caused this? Well, let's take a look. So if those modules aren't found, we should see if they're on the server and put them there if they aren't. So we'll take a look. These modules typically live in the Lua and includes and modules. And we'll scroll down here and they aren't there. We don't have the Archon, the Gatekeeper, or the MySQL 00 modules. They'd be right around here with these other DLL files. So let's go ahead and upload those. Grab the Gatekeeper and Archon right there. And we'll go back into MySQL 00, Lua, includes modules, and we'll upload those as well. So now we have all the modules there. Let's go ahead and we'll turn the highlighting back off and collapse this. Collapse this as well. Do control. We'll restart the server. Yes. Okay. I'll wait for it to come back with HLSW. All right, the server's back. Go back into the control panel here. Go to the console logs, console output. We'll do a refresh to get the latest logs from it. We'll do a view here. We'll again turn on highlighting and we'll scroll down. So we got the three usual warnings. The failed to retrieve address, which we talked about earlier in the video as being something that's normal and the MySQL connects successfully and we're good to go. So that's the second error solved. And we'll move on to the next one. Okay, so now we'll take a look at the next error message. We'll head over to the console logs, console output. I'm going to do a refresh to make sure I have the latest server logs. We'll do a view here. Again, turn on highlighting to make it easier to find what we're looking for. We'll scroll down, and we have it here. Error loading module, MySQL 00 from file. And it gives the file location. Now this one is a error that cannot be directly fixed because the file exists outside of where access is given. So to illustrate this point, what this needs is a file that's in the actual orange box directory of the fold of the server, which is, if we look at the FTP structure here, it's one level up from here, and we can't go up further than that. There is a couple ways to fix this. One is you can ask us to put a certain file there. The file in question is libmysql.dll. 
and it exists one directory up above this, you can either ask us to put the file back for you, or if you haven't done much with the database, you can actually use the MySQL database function here to fix that. So we mention it here at the bottom, whenever you install or reinstall the database, we automatically copy the file over to OrangeBox for you. So I'll do a database reinstall here because I'm not too worried about the test data, but you'll want to think carefully before doing that with a server in production. So I'll reinstall the database. And I need to, because I've reinstalled it, I need to rebuild it with that SQL file again. So I'm going to open up that folder, go back in here, get the SQL file. select all, copy that, paste it in here, run SQL, database is once again all set, do a control here, restart the server, and once the server comes back up, that error message should be gone. Collapse that log out and do a refresh. We now have a new log file. Take a look at what we got. Turn on highlighting. And again, we're all set. Back to working. So I'll go ahead and uncheck this, collapse this, and we'll move on to the last error. All right, so the last thing we're going to look at is an error related to the configuration of MySQL for the game server. Now this one's not immediately obvious, so we'll look at the console logs and kind of discuss what we see here to make sure it's what we need. So we'll turn on highlighting, scroll down. You can see everything looks fairly normal, but we end up with this error here. We've got game modes, taco script, MySQL connection failed. And then we have an extra warning here, unknown MySQL server host, a.b.c.d. That's a little strange. So I never finished connecting to SQL. So let's take a look. We remember configuring in the previous video the MySQL server settings for the game itself. Let's take a look and see if something happened there. So we'll go into the data, taco script, and we'll view, edit, MySQL config. And here we have it. It looks like somebody changed the IP address to something that's not even close to a valid IP address. So let's change that back. 127.0.0.1. We'll do a save. Close it out. Click yes to upload it back to the server. And now we'll restart. We'll collapse all this first. And we will restart the server. And give it a moment to come back. And check in with the console logs again. And refresh to get the latest ones. View here, turn on highlighting. And now the database connected successfully. So there's a look at some of the common errors that can happen with uh, Taco Script, but really they can happen with any game mode. So you have multiple things to check. You need to make sure the game mode's uploaded correctly. You have to make sure you have all the required modules. Usually there are those DLL files for MySQL 00 or uh, GM Archon or Gatekeeper. And then you also have to make sure that your configuration of the database is correct and that you have that lib mysql.dll in the orange box directory, which if you're using our control panel is automatically taken care of for you when you install your database initially. So that's it for the uh, troubleshooting video for Gary's Mod SQL. Hopefully you uh, got some helpful tips to keep your servers running. Thank you for watching.